I spend my days going from restaurant to restaurant, making sure that things are up to standard. Adam, this film is so vintage Agoyan, mm. and I found it kind of comforting and wonderfully nostalgic. It reminded me of the, the adjuster and all those yeah. crazy universes that you built. Um, and this one is, is just as crazy, and I love it. And I wonder if you could tell me just a little bit, strangely enough, about the art design, because that was unique. Um, well, we were, we were in a place, Hamilton, which actually had these extraordinary um, sets, really. I mean, this might come as a surprise, but we didn't build anything. Everything you see in the film actually existed. And so we really uh, were looking at locations and we were shocked by the number of different sort of looks we can get in this, in this place because it has this vintage sort of feel and it's sort of set apart. And now, of course, you could do things with, with color and you do things with, 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 with lenses and, and there's a lot of sort of, uh, uh, there's a lot of work we're doing and we're actually shooting it also with an anamorphic lens, even though it's not widescreen, so it has this kind of uh, distorted uh, yes, quality. Yes, right. So exactly. maybe, yeah, yeah. So that, that is, that was, uh, we did that, you know, uh, as a, because the film is told through glass instruments and so we thought we'd really make the point of this sense of glass and the sound design as well. Fantastic. Oh, thank you. so cool. Thank you. I'm a food inspector. Jim is quite the complex man. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, everyone's morality in this film was a little bit in question, a little off balance. And I think your character's um, sudden revelation to us shocked me the most. Is what revelation? The revelation that he also has moral issues. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's yeah. not just a hard ass. He's also... Yeah, and I think I think I think I think I think what comes out at the end in that in that in that speech, and you see this utterly different side to him that you've, that you've anticipated for the rest of the film. I mean, that's one of the things that really drew me into when I first read the script. I was like, I really long to play this this speech because that's what makes him, uh, you know, a, a, a fully rounded character. Before that, you, you you're not quite sure wh wh where where he is or who he is or where he's coming from. And I think that that that's the answer to him is 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 this is this final. But speech. we had a clue of this with the mice. We had a clue with we're, the, we're, the we're, mouse. Were they manipulating the, the rats? <laughs> yes, that uh, just seemed. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's that's. that's uh, I, I mean, all the decisions he makes in the film are obviously always in his character. I don't mean his character changes in the film. I think it's 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 obviously all. No, but it's, it's, it's revealed. This potential, yeah. Mm. Then this potential to to uh, be corrupted in his job or to encourage corruption and to, to transgress the limits of his, of, his, of his remit in terms of his job, you know, but I think that's obviously that's what makes him watchable. Yeah. Yes, sir, you're here for lunch. Could I speak to the operator of the restaurant? I am the operator. Right. Where on earth did you get an idea to do a film about a food inspector in Hamilton? Um, I got the idea of doing a food inspector because I had opened um, this small bar space on Queen Street some oh, right, years ago, yeah. and uh, we had a health inspector, and, and I just was shocked by the job, and, you know, it was a seemingly benign inspection, but, but that he had this power to close the place down, and uh, that there were issues, and you have to respond to that, and, and, and you go, well, what if this person was unleashed, and there were a number of these different restaurants and they all these livelihoods and he took his job really seriously and so and and Hamilton just ended up being a great location because it was um, uh, it just had a number of different looks and also there were a lot of different um, uh, the thing that's a surprise to most people is, is that it, the second language of Hamilton right now is Arabic uh, that they've been very welcoming of Syrian refugees and that they have a lot of different they, they have an old Polish sort of history Ukrainian history and you see the vestiges of that but you also see that there's this shift and a character who's also from somewhere else who's from England who was really just drifting through that began to get really appealing and yes. it kind of like it, it felt like the, the perfect place to set the story wow David, would you live in Hamilton? Would I, would I live there? No, I, I, well, I did live there for, for, for the sh shooting of the film. Um, um, no, obviously not necessarily, but yeah. it, it wouldn't be particularly practical for my life. Since, uh, my wife lives in London. 
Yeah. Um, my daughter, uh, anyway. It's odd. Uh, but I did, yes, I did, I did, odd, I did right? like it very much. And it was, oh. it was quite a revelation to me. Yeah. And, I, and I enjoyed wandering around. And, and, and it had been a place that one would not choose to go on holiday, certainly for me. But it, it was, it was, that's the great thing about this business. You, you get to see places that uh, you, would, you would not normally. And I found it actually, uh, you know, yeah, I found it fascinating. I loved walking around. And, a, 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 lot, a lot of Canadians are going to recoil because they do choose to go there on a holiday. Do they? What? Yeah, it, it's the holiday destination spot of the whole country. No, it that's, is not. That's, that's, just, but, that's Niagara Falls, that's which is right Jesus. Line. No, but, but here's the thing, is that the thing we don't <laughs> show in the film is that it has the more waterfalls than any other city in North America. Did you know that? So that's the great hidden thing about the city. So it, it actually has a lot of Did water. Did you see them? No. I didn't see them. No. So, so you have to, uh, there's an area, and I, I do keep promising myself, because I saw all these sort of advertisements for that. And I thought, OK, I'm going to go and seek them out. But anyway, so, so there. It, it we will should have shot a scene there. We should have saw a scene, G yes. Jim, Jim skinny dipping. Skinny <laughs> dipping in, 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 in various waterfalls all over the city. Just do all a, mont of, a montage sequence. All of them, sequence. All of them yeah. like this. It's swimmer. not too late to shoot that, actually. It's not okay. too late. Before the premiere in about an hour and a half, we can, we can <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's warmish today. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. All I want to know is if that's the truth. He was messing around with her. I think sometimes people, whether it's right or wrong, come to an arrangement. He's a kid. What's wrong with you? I can never believe that my daughter was capable of such terrible crimes. Everything you've done, everything you are, fits what's wrong with me. It's up to me to find this person who spread these rumors, these awful rumors of this crew. I think I've become their guest of honor. <laughs>